Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to create villains in your Cisco Meraki MX firewalls. And something to keep in mind is that for this video I'm using an MX64 with MX17.6 firm firmware loaded on it. So um, I've noticed that um, on the previous firmware the interface looked different so I'm sure that maybe in the future whenever there's a new firmware perhaps the steps or the interface is going to look different than what it is right now. So uh, to create VLANs you would go to SD1 addressings and VLAN Once you get there, you scroll down to the routing section. That's where you're going to have all your networks and where you're going to create your VLANs. So you would click on Add VLAN uh, and name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name this um, Windows Servers. And then you assign a VLAN ID for that. Uh, this could be any number between 1 and 4094. So I'm going to choose, uh, let's say, uh, 62 for that. It doesn't really matter what number I use. And then you have the option of assigning a group policy to it if you would like, or you could do it later. Uh, a group policy is simply a set of uh, network settings that can be applied to um, to the VLAN uh, for that matter and you would get to it by going to network wide and group policies I have this window open here so you can see you can create as many group, group policies as you would like um, I'm not sure if there's a limit to it but in the group policy uh, you can uh, set bandwidth limit uh, layer 3 and layer 7 firewall rules and you can also enable the umbrella if you have umbrella subscription to it and you could do traffic shaping so on and so forth so um, this is just if you already have a, uh, a policy in place and you would like to apply that policy to the VLAN you could do it right from the screen or you can simply uh, do it later right so we're not going to do that right now uh, we're going to go next and then you have to uh, assign the IPv4 address and subnet max to it and if you want to enable IPv6 for that VLAN uh, you also have to apply the settings for that I am not going to be using IPv6 here and I'm going to do this for IPv4 so I'm going to assign that a random IP address of let's say 10.60.60 that one is going to be my uh, IP address for that uh, VLAN and then I have to assign the subnet in a, in a CIDR format so it's going to be a 10.60.60.60 that Oh, why do I miss this? 60.60.0 slash and then you assign your subnet. So I'm going to do this um, slash 27, right? Uh, so you preview that and you'll see that you are creating your VLAN and then you click on update. And as you can see here, there you have your Windows Server VLAN. As you can see, I only have IPv4 enabled so once you create the VLAN you have to assign the VLAN to a port in this case I have a MX64 only has four uh, interfaces that I can use for this and let's say for instance if I would like to assign that Windows Server VLANs to my uh, what do I have here to the VMware servers I just click on on, on that port that I want to assign that VLAN to as you could see I have it as a trunk so I can assign multiple VLANs to it then I go edit and then I come here and I just assign my uh, VLAN ID to that port and that port is going to be able to uh, uh, to receive and send traffic on that VLAN as well obviously this is just part of it then you would have to uh, 
add that VLAN to whatever configuration you have on your switches or your servers or anything else but it is simple so that is how you add a VLAN in Cisco Meraki. I hope this has helped. Have a great day.